गुड मॉर्निंग वंदे मातरम वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन टेल ए ब्यूटीफुल स्टोरी सो दिस इज द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन फॉर दिस ग्लोरियस मॉर्निंग टेल ए ब्यूटीफुल स्टोरी स्टोरी वी नो इट हैज गॉट इट्स ए बैकग्राउंड ऑलमोस्ट एवरीबॉडी टेल्स ए स्टोरी और रीड्स ए स्टोरी और लिसन से स्टोरी दिस इज द ब्यूटी बट थिंग इज दैट ए ब्यूटिफुल स्टोरी दैट इज द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन फॉर राइट नाउ सो वेन वी टॉक ऑफ द ब्यूटी इट इज ए रिलेटिव टर्म ब्यूटी इज ए रिलेटिव टर्म एज वी कैन कोट जॉन किट्स ब्यूटी लाइज नॉट इन द ऑब्जेक्ट बट इन द ऑब्जर्वर्स आई it is not nearly in the object suppose somebody uh, feels um, this is a beautiful flower there is not really the beauty whole heartedly wholly in the flower but the observers eye because in the same time um, particular things normally attract the human vision that is uh, something like a lily a lotus a rose um, um, a big one, one um, uh, calm sea or bass sky something is there that can attract you but thing is that not all attracted because you can understand um, suppose this uh, suggests this um, sadakas siddha sadakas rishis they are staying for years i don't know maybe centuries because you initially you have heard of it some uh, rishis sadakas who are staying in the jungle doing the sadhana they were their uh, longevity was around some couple of uh, centuries 300 years 500 years 200 years something like this this longevity has come down of course we are trying to increase the longevity so but they are well acquainted with the beauty of that uh, hill but uh, when we go to the, the forest that hill area uh, so suppose you know for a couple of hours we get fascinated attracted then things gone evening comes your uh, picnic is over excursion is over party is over then you come back um uh, some people are there i was talking to a lady this uh, morning but uh, really her vision was something different um, she has gone uh, from this almost this locality near katak uh, she has went to the um, uh, deep heat dhenkanal district um, staying in a jungle enjoying the view of the jungle of course they are got their establishment there some school area they are it is there inside the jungle she is enjoying and uh, she feels that i am happy here this beauty fascinates me attracts me so i am here but thing is that how long maybe the exec- uh, excursion going people or picnic going people they are attracted till the evening but this lady as her own set up her parents and the school establishment some staff are staying staying there so she is attracted mainly mainly and mainly as for couple of days not for life long so so it is there um it depends from person to person from uh, viewer to viewer this de- it depends so to find highest beauty is to find the, the god so that is what the topic um, the that is the real thing on beauty the joy of uh, be- you know um, a thing of beauty is a joy of a joy forever thing of beauty is a joy forever whatever you have taken this is beauty that is a joy forever suppose i can uh, give you one example somebody's uh, missus she looks beautiful uh, anyway all not uh, eye catching for all but some somehow and some when and to some extent it is fascinating to some people but actually exclusively the man who has uh, married no whatever may be the position may be beautiful to uh, all to entire eyes to many eyes or maybe just normal or maybe ugly but the thing is that they are staying and uh, adjusting the year uh, life uh, adjusting the entire life there is no doubt of it so um, you can see when there is a beauty that the beauty and delight are inseparable powers uh, here we are going to uh, discuss on uh, your uh, thing that is uh, we have taken tell a beautiful story when we story means naturally you will be getting fascinated to know the story uh, you will be sitting in the you know, conference you will be attending the classes it is as usual normal you are attending so many logical things philosophies are there we keep discussing we take uh, uh, describing the things we try to explain but actually nobody is interested to us in but whenever 
uh, we go and describe a story a story may be um, not the ancient story you know, very much ancient stories i mean uh, pura puranic stories and all something from mahabharat something from ramayana tritaya yuga ramachandra and krishna these are all fascinating stories and it um, it catches all the hearts so they get interested i will know will hear something that is very well mystic in there uh, when we uh, we kept describing the story there will be a big character um, protagonist he will be from a uh, character from the great family royal family he will be having some uh, palace and his um, wife spouse will be very much beautiful she will be adventuring to across the countries near neighboring countries he will be trying to, to explore and um, see and gain the you know uh, states one by one uh, he will be a very uh, clever man uh, beautiful he is having a extreme beautiful physical physical and all so many ways but uh, this was these are well all ancient stories in the uh, medieval stories you can find uh, some uh, story their heroes will be uh, some from a very low born family uh, mean, means maybe some slave will be there as a hero or somewhere you can find in a story where you can find um, like like a fish uh, it will be symbolized as a very heroic character that the fish or lion the story of the uh, that a jackal um, a blue jackal cut colored uh, hued with the color blue like this so these are where the stories were fascinating and uh, it's been now you, you are getting so many um, extraordinary stories you can see you see very much remember because thought process is uh, changing so beauty lies not in the object not in the neither in the prince princess uh, nor in the fish or lion tiger or the supernatural stories sphinx and all story lies not in that the story where is really the story the story is confined to in the present scenario where day to day life whatever you are facing whatever you are building whatever you are having so there itself lies the beauty of the story anyway uh, the question was put to the mother do you do not imaginary stories put you in contact with the life with uh, truth very interesting good question it one uh, well precise well thought uh, question don't imaginary stories i, I have given you many uh, imaginary stories um, puranic stories vedic stories uh, uh, royal modern stories uh, you know some so many ways um, imaginary stories put you in contact with life with the truth that is the life with life with truth mother quotes not always imaginary stories stories we imagine and the mostly sometimes some you know uh, it is a beautiful story it is touching you may not touch others some are, are there it is um, very much fascinating fascinating it is attracting all so because uh, it depends depends upon how it has been sketched how it is defined how it is actually uh, written that is it depends upon all that is so uh, this imaginary stories how it is um, uh, Mm, uh, helping you in contact with life in uh, with uh, truth is it like this mother quotes not always and what does uh, contact with the truth mean mother quotes contact with the truth what is this mean there is a truth in a grain of sand it is that is it means uh, that means nothing it is there is a everywhere whatever you go you know mm, uh, god has created all these things so whatever planning and whatever attempt has been taken by the god even to create a small creature or to create the world the same method same formula and uh, same you know efficiency has been applied a lot of times so mother quotes um, there is a truth in the grain of sand there is a sand a pebble you just try to ignore but there is a truth behind it it has been created it is god's creation but uh, this divine has a planned in his own vision it has got its use so there is a meaning there is a truth behind the uh, grain of sand don't you think there is enough ugly things in the world without once giving picture of them in books so many are there suppose i already i have to, uh, told you uh, whenever you talk of the flowers immediately immediately you go for jasmine for satadala padmalai lotus lily rose like this there you move but so many ugly things are there actually they are 
your eye, it is not eye catching to anybody. One has not touched his gesture, his um, uh, eye has not touched, and it is not a picturized, it is symbolized in the books. That is what happening in other course. This is something which always used to surprise me. Why not? Why not? Some things are there, people take care of. Suppose there is an instantly, you know, Russia and Ukraine war is going on. So people think, think it is a great story, and they, if they find something, so it has been characterized. But simultaneously, the, the writer, and immediately behind, beside his home, you can find something that is a great thing you can imagine. Uh, some people are there, they are striving. Uh, some people are there, somebody's leg, leg is fractured. Somebody is there, he is having a nice imagination. Somebody is having, having a very nice sadhana. It is not visible, but immediately his eyes are exceeding, uh, moving forward, uh, further and further towards Russia and the Ukraine war. Because that is the, immediately they catch the media they, and they, they get confined to that as aspect. So, Mother Quotes, even when I was a child, life was so ugly, but you know, so far this physical life, external life is concerned, Mother belonged to the family of a banker. So, I was a child, life was so ugly, so full of means, uh, miserable, even at times um, repulsive things at the beginning mother course there are some repulsive things life was so ugly full of means miserable even um, uh, times repulsive things what is the use of imagining at worse things than um, are already there it is there you can see life is like this there is a retardation that is a uh, regression there is a major misery you can see life you are living that one and you are finding in the long way Further and further you are going, so many people are there, suffering and all. Instantly you see some slums are there behind, uh, beneath your um, uh, palace or your home, but your eyes are not going there. You can't touch it, or rather you are moving here and there. So if you imagined something more beautiful, a more, a more beautiful life, uh, life uh, that would be worth the trouble. So just uh, if you want to uh, change the world, try to change yourself, but just about it. So if you want to see the good, good things around you, try to make your eyes colorful and beautiful. Unless otherwise you are beautiful, you are okay. Your surrounding is okay. You can't move forward and look uh, something that is uh, staying further from you. People who take pleasure in writing ugly things show a great poverty of mind. Because their mind is stationed there. They, are, they can see anything, so many good things are there, but actually these people, their mind is actually conceived with this, so many these ugly things. Uh, it is always a sign of a poverty of mind. Poverty of the society we have seen, but it is a poverty of mind. Because uh, bearing that scene, they can't be able to see anyone. So uh, when you ask for somebody, something, some question like uh, people are suffering, uh, always the people are suffering, yes, people are suffering, you can see suffering, but some people are there, they are actually very much pleasant, they are enjoying life like anything, you just try to go out of this my poverty of mind, you try to exceed, you try to go beyond, there will be very colorful world, very pleasant world, you will be enjoying, it is infinitely more difficult to tell a story beautiful from the beginning to end, um, uh, than to write a story um, ending with the sensational event or a catastrophe. Very difficult. Mother course gives the uh, true definition, true purpose, uh, true idea. Mother course really here uh, that it is always a, uh, it, it is infinitely more difficult to tell a story beautiful from the beginning to end, from the beginning to the end, entirely hundred percent from A to Z. It is a difficult thing than to write a story ending with some sensational event or uh, catastrophe. Something you are writing. You can uh, conclude the story with a sensational event or a catastrophe, that is possible. But thing is that from the beginning to end, it needs a greater courage to stick the right path than to come into it. From the beginning to the end, the starting from beginning and uh, start, from the starting to the end, you can uh, find, um, uh, it is very difficult to beginning, uh, begin, begin and end with the beautiful things than, than to write a story with a sensational event or a catastrophe. 
so now many authors for the course if they had to write a story which ends happily beautifully would not be able to do it because they have the imagination but something affects them so can do it they don't have the enough imagination uh, imagination for that to begin happily and to end happily and in between to maintaining this beauty it is very um, imagination that is a very um, big thing very few stories have been uplifting uh, ending mother course uplifting ending and uh, almost all end in a failure mother course that is what the real thing is. they start they begin they imagine but actually the imagination can't be fulfilled so there is a failure for they have the simple reason is much more easy to fall than to rise when you actually very great thing it is easy to fall than to rise it is um, smooth to choose fall is uh, is uh, you know easy easier than to choose for the rise it is much more difficult to end one story on a note of greatness and splendor mother course like this to end one story on a note of greatness and splendor is to make one's hero genius seeking to transcend itself so that must be taken care of you must be able you must be capable you must have that imagination so because for that one must be a genuine genius of oneself for that to create it is not a very um, silly thing you have to have must have a genius oneself and this is not given to everybody few have got that talent few have got that caliber so they do they go that way actually they go that way it is there it is not um, um, fascinating it is not a story this story is, uh, is, is actually storing the aspect so for that it is, it is this power is not giving to all so you must start you must begin and you must end for that actually you must have a greater courage greater power of imagination for that you must have a preparation so that you can go and conclude like anything so telling a beautiful story almost it is a blessing thank you try to aspire and have tell a beautiful story with the aspiration and then the grace will come and the protection will be there and so that a beautiful story will uh, come into the picture no doubt of it bande mataram